The day is April 6th. The year is 1945. And as the civilians of Hiroshima did their things, a plane flew above them. Suddenly, a bomb fell from the plane and crashed to the ground. Seconds later, the bomb explodes and kills thousands of people at once. Sadako Sasaki, though, survived. But years later, people are still dying of leukemia, a type of cancer that transferred to people through the bomb's radiation. And about 10 years later, Sadako is diagnosed with it. Now in the hospital, Sadako is visited by her friend, who tells her a famous Japanese legend that if somebody folded a thousand paper cranes, they would regain their health. Will Sadako fold them in time, or will the murderous leukemia stop her first? Hello Reading Adventures and welcome to the Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes book review. I got this book when I was doing my FSA and it wasn't used for any projects like packs. And if you want to watch that book review afterwards, I will leave the link in the end of the video. Anyways, that's enough chit chat, so let's go! First off, one reason why I really liked Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes Mmm, me lucky! It's because even though it's based on a true story, it has many great lessons. Like, some of them include that war is one of the worst things that ever happened, you should always be brave, and that you should never ever give up. I agree with all these lessons, and I strongly believe that it could help people all around the world. People that are scared, people that are creating wars, or people that think that trying won't help anybody. I But just take a look at Sadako's story. If she gave up right away, she wouldn't have been able to fight the leukemia or spend time with her family. And if World War II hadn't happened in the first place, she wouldn't have gotten leukemia to begin with. Right along. Even though Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes was less than 100 pages, it is very educational. I mean, I didn't know what such a big impact the atomic bomb had on the Japanese, and I didn't know that you could get leukemia from it. I didn't know about Sadako's story, or about the origami legend, or many things about the Japanese culture. Last but not least, Sadako's story is beautiful and very inspiring, and it made me cry so much once I reached the end. <laughs> so, when you read it, make sure you have someone to read it with you, so then you both could cry together. <laughs> That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. If you want to share any opinions or suggestions, you can comment down below, and if you want to join the Radio Adventures, press the subscribe button. And I will catch you on the next video.